So today, rather than talking about Battlefield, I thought I'd talk about who I am a little bit. Um, I've never really spoken about myself much when it comes to my channel. I've really only focused on sort of video games and news and other things like that. And I've tried to sort of keep my own sort of life separate from what I do here on YouTube. I think that's quite important. But at the same time, I think I owe it to you guys who've stuck with me for a long time to know a little bit about who I actually am and what I do outside of the world of YouTube and who I really am as a person. So today, I thought I'd give that a go. If you read the title of today's video, you'll see that it's titled Q&A number one. The idea behind this is I'm going to get the ball rolling today with this episode and then maybe over the next few weeks you guys can leave some comments down below and in a couple of weeks time I'll put another episode up where you can ask me some questions in the comments today and I'll pick those for the next episode. Now I'm only going to pick the questions that I really want to answer so please don't feel offended if I don't pick your question. There are some things that I probably wouldn't like to answer here on YouTube so some of the questions that you guys ask I may not pick for certain reasons. But as I say, please don't feel offended. It's just that I want to give you guys a good background of who I am without revealing absolutely everything about my life here on YouTube. Okay, here goes. Hi everyone, my name's Cameron. Cameron West. I'm 19 years of age. I'm about 5 foot 8. I weigh about 14 stone. Which is 2 stone overweight. <laughs> and here on YouTube, I make Battlefield videos. But I'm starting to branch out into a couple more games as well. Being only 19 years of age, I haven't been out of education for very long. Um, whilst I was doing my education, uh, I took a very keen interest in languages. Uh, I did an A-level in Spanish and came out with a B at A-level. For, for those of you guys that are outside the UK, I think that's sort of like college level for the US people. I don't really know what you'd call it in Europe and other places like that, but it's kind of the education that you have by the time you get to the age of 18. So I got an A-level in Spanish, an A-level in media studies, which is kind of like video production and the study of media conversations and things like that. And I also took computing, uh, which is sort of like coding and IT and techie things like that. I passed that as well. So I have three A-levels in Spanish, computing and media studies. Whilst I was in education, um, I used to play football, uh, European football, not American football. Let's call it soccer. Uh, I used to play soccer. That sounds really weird saying it as an English person, but yeah, I used to play football. Um, I played it probably since about the age of six or seven. Uh, my dad and my mum got me into it like when I was a very small person, um, simply because they wanted me to excel in something. Um, and I kind of have to thank them for that because I did, I probably did quite well in what I did. I stopped playing football when I was 16. Uh, I went on holiday, came back and didn't want to train anymore. Um, as teenagers get older they get even more lazy and I think at that time I was extremely lazy but I played football for around 10 years of my early life I played for various different teams all the way through from like 5 aside all the way up to proper 11 aside football um, and where I live in the south of England in Sussex I ended up representing Sussex at a national level or playing against other counties so I must have done something right there um, but I played for various teams and I used to play football maybe three or four times a week, training twice a week and playing twice a week. At various times I was playing for two teams on Saturday and Sunday so I'd have to do two training sessions a week. So it took up a huge amount of my time and that's pretty much where I met all of my friends. And the reason that's so important is that's where I picked up the name Westy from. A lot of people have asked me where I got the nickname Westy from. It's from playing football. Somebody doesn't call you Cameron, they call you Westy. They just shout at you, they give you the ball, and then you move on. So all my other mates, they all had nicknames as well. Mine just happened to be Westy. Um, a little bit more about me. Okay, um, a lot of people always ask me why I got into YouTube, and I've never really expressed why I wanted to do that. Um, I used to watch Syndicate quite a lot uh, when he was doing his zombie runs, when he first started to get a lot of popularity. Um, I believe at that point in time, he did a dual con with x -Jaws. And he had about 80,000 subscribers, I think, at that time. And of course, with x having a, a half a million subs at that point, um, he really sort of boosted his channel right up. And at that point, Syndicate was just a normal guy. And he was just a guy who did YouTube. And it was like, well, I'm just a normal guy. Why can't I do something like that? And here I sit now, probably 18 months, nearly 24 months later, and I'm in that position. I'm just a normal guy on YouTube doing my thing. And I really enjoy it. 
I really enjoy having an audience in front of me. Well, well, on the other side of the microphone, for that matter. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy putting my opinion forward to you guys, and you guys respond to that. And I think the game with Battlefield, something that's a little bit more grown up, something that tries to be as realistic as possible, you can grow a community around something like that because there's a sense of... What's the best way to describe this? There's a sense of sensibility. Basically, you can trust somebody to give you a sensible answer. With a game like Call of Duty, you can't do that. When I chose to start my channel, I started it with Battlefield because it was a little bit more sensible, a little bit more grown up, and it was really somewhere that I could express my opinion about something and get a proper response. And that's kind of where I've led with my channel ever since I started it. I've always wanted to get people's opinion on things. I've always wanted to express my opinion and start a conversation. And I think that I've got to a point with my channel right now where I'm really starting to do that with you guys. What else can I tell you? Um, oh, I really like food. <laughs> if any of you guys have followed me on Twitter, and there are about 4,000 of you now, so thanks very much, 4,000 followers is huge. Um, you'll know that I retweet a lot of food porn um, simply because I sit there on my phone at work and I get hungry and I retweet food porn and then make myself even more hungry. Um, yeah, if you guys like food and you like people, then you'll like talking to me because I absolutely love food. Probably my favourite food is chocolate. <laughs> I love Cadbury's dairy milk. If you ever want to buy me a present and I ever get a P.O. box, just send me that shit all day long. <laughs> I'll gobble it all up. But yeah, I really like food. I can't drive. A lot of people found that really weird on Twitter when I said that I couldn't drive. I just never really decided to go ahead and do it. It just didn't seem appealing to me at the time and I didn't really need to do anything. I probably should now because I work about 25 miles away from where I live. It makes it a little bit more difficult to get there on the train. Uh, and it would be quite cool to drive actually because I could then feel like I actually served a purpose. Whereas at the moment I have to ask for lifts all the time so I feel a a little bit sort of pathetic, <laughs> but, well not really, I just feel like I'd probably want to drive, maybe I should do it, probably really should, but yeah, that'll do, that'll start things off, um, so that's the um, the end of the first episode, if you guys liked it, please make sure you hit the like button so I know whether you want me to continue this kind of thing, it's a little bit new, it's a little bit different, but as I said at the start, it's kind of like a repayment, I've never ever spoken about myself properly on this channel before. So I thought I'd give it a go as sort of like a, a present to you guys for, for staying with me for so long. And a lot of you people ask me these questions all the time, so I thought it was only fair to answer them at some point. Make sure you leave any questions you want me to answer down below, uh, and I'll pick a few of them for the next episode. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.